Okay, now almost all the specifications of the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has been leaked, which is common every year. But before the launch of any latest Galaxy S series device, we do get to see the leaks about the upcoming operating system as well. And this time it's One UI 5.1, which will debut on S23 Ultra. And apparently the entire change log of the One UI 5.1 has been leaked as per Sam Mobile. Sam Mobile reported the entire change log of One UI 5.0, which we are going to take a look at today. Let's see what's in store on the all new One UI 5.1. In the camera department, we are going to get an option to change the hue for a selfie. We are going to get an all new FX button on the side of the screen while taking the selfies, which helps us to adjust the hue. Next one is Expert RAW. We all know that this is a very advanced camera application, which enables us to take some high quality raw images for post processing. It seems that we can access Expert RAW in advanced menu on the camera application. So what I'm assuming is Expert RAW will be integrated into camera app Let's wait and see that. The next category is gallery. If you are into sharing the albums or images with family, you will see some improvement in this section. Now on One UI 5.1, gallery is going to recommend you the photos or albums by recognizing the family members' faces. And it also says we are going to get 5 GB of storage per family up to 6 people. Then we have got better or improved image processing automatically, which removes shadows and reflections. And we will also be able to recreate GIFs for better resolution and clarity. Next important feature in the gallery is choosing the location to save the screenshots. This is going to be really useful. Whenever we take a screenshot, the gallery app is going to ask us where exactly we want to save the recording or let's say save the screenshot, which can be set up on advanced features. Then there are some improvements in AR zone and AR emojis. Now we can use three emojis in AR emoji camera. And we are also going to get layout and editing improvements in AR doodles. So if you are into AR zone and AR emojis, then you are going to love this. Uh, the next important change is regarding the widgets. We are going to get a brand new battery widget. This widget is going to show us the battery level of all the connected devices like Galaxy Buds, Galaxy Watch and the phone itself in one single widget. That is quite exciting. Let's see how the widget is going to look. The next improvement is on weather widget. Apparently Samsung has made some improvements on weather widget which will show more information on the widget now. Next category is mentioned as modes and scenarios. This will enable us to set different wallpapers depending on the mode, which means depending on the current activities, maybe you are at a sporting event or maybe you're at work, we can set different wallpapers on the lock screen as well as home screen depending on these modes. The second feature under modes and scenarios is more conditions and actions for scenarios. Uh, it says run scripts automatically when you turn on airplane mode or mobile hotspot. Scripts can now open some applications are just left right audio balance and more new actions now let you control quick share and touch sensitivity and change the ringtone and font style now this is something which we really have to test uh, it seems to be interesting as and when we get the update i am definitely going to explore this and explain this to you guys uh, next one is in the connectivity department the first point mentioned is collaboration in samsung notes we can create shared notes with multiple people on which anybody can edit it simultaneously that is cool then we have another important feature here it says advanced multiple controls between galaxy book and smartphone now you can use your Galaxy Book's mouse, keyboard or trackpad not only with your Galaxy tablet but also with your Galaxy smartphone. And you can easily copy and paste text and drag and drop images from one device to another as if it were the same device. This is again quite interesting but we can test this once we have this update on the phone. Next one is continue surfing on PC. This is something a lot of people have been asking for. It says if you surf the internet on your smartphone with Samsung internet and then continue browsing on your PC. You can find the website you opened on your smartphone and continue browsing them with the PC browser. Now there is a condition here. It will not be possible on all the Windows versions. The condition says the function requires a PC running Windows 20 H1 or later. This Windows 20 H1 is a build on which a lot of features will be tested. So if your PC is on this build, you will be able able to use this feature. All right, now moving on to the next one. In Samsung DeX, we have got some improvements. We have got improved multitasking in DeX. In split screen mode, you can now drag the splitter in the middle of the screen to resize both windows. You can also snap a window to one of its corners so that it takes up a quarter of the screen. Let's explore this option once we have the latest version. Then in the settings section, we have got settings suggestions. Now, whenever we search something on the settings menu, there will be some suggestions which will be shown at the top of the settings screen, letting us know about the useful features which we can try. Then under Samsung internet, we have got an improved search. Then at a call section, we have got big speed text to call. 
So finally, big speed text to call will arrive on most of the latest Samsung Galaxy phones with One UI 5.1. This will be supported in English and Korean. What this feature does is it automatically answers the calls to find out the purpose of the call. You will see what the caller is saying in a text chat and you can tap or type replies to have them read aloud to the caller. These are some of the new latest important features which are coming on One UI 5.1. And I'm going to explore all these features once I have the S23 Ultra in my hands. And I'll explain each and every feature of One UI 5.1. So stay tuned for those videos. I'm sure these features are going to change the way we use our phones. So for you to stay updated, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel. And you can also hit the like button if you find this video useful. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.